to. Uh, Deputy Martin, please. Taoiseach, the scandal surrounding the cervical check programme and the withholding of information from women in relation to their false negative tests last year has caused much trauma, anxiety and hurt. Unfortunately, women have died of cervical cancer. And over the weekend, it was sad to hear of the sad passing of Orla Church, a campaigner and cervical cancer victim. The cervical check programme has been developing in place and it has been in place for a long, long time, Taoiseach, and it has saved many lives. But my understanding is that it is now in crisis mode at this very moment. To work effectively, it has to work within certain parameters and timelines. The capacity has to match the volume of tests per annum. As you know, when the scandal was exposed last year by Vicky Phelan and Vicky Huna and others, the Minister immediately announced that he decided to provide free smears to every woman in the country who had concerns. We have learned from the journal.ie on the 9th of January through FOI that the Minister took this decision against official and expert advice, that the decision would damage the efficacy of the programme, would delay and cause backlogs, and was not clinically warranted. On average, Taoiseach's cervical check would test about 230,000 smears per year. The Minister's decision last April added an extra 90,000 to 100,000 to that volume. The Minister was warned repeatedly throughout a long period that this was wrong, yet he proceeded uh, w without any additional resources being provided. The additional volume of tests as a result of the decision taken has created unacceptable and enormous backlogs and women have been waiting up to six months for the return of their tests. But there's a further problem, Taoiseach. It is my understanding that the delay has impacted on the quality and efficacy of the tests and rendering a significant number of them invalid. There are two elements to the test. Cells are put on the slide, as we know, but in addition there is the viral loading, which in the detection of low-grade cell abnormalities uh, indicates and is tested to indicate whether colposity could be is required and whether further referral is required. Because of the backlog and time delays, this part of the test in many cases, as I understand, being rendered invalid and null and void. Normally they would be done within 10 days, but because of the Minister's decision, uh, the resultant backlog has now compromised uh, the quality and efficacy of the test. Now, Taoiseach, this, as you know, has serious and obvious consequences. I asked Minister Harris a specific question on the 15th of January on this issue, asking for the rationale of announcing the repeat cervical smears for women against expert advice, the reason why he did not make that public at the time. He avoided answering that part of the question and have officially complained understanding orders in relation to that. Thank you, Deputy. The Minister has withheld information from the Doyle Taoiseach and the public on developments within the cervical check programme that are clearly within the public interest. And I'm asking you now, Taoiseach, are you aware of this development and the serious implications that arise um, from it? Were you informed by the Minister? Why did the Minister ignore expert advice? And why did it take until, until December to discontinue the free smear tests? Thank you, Deputy. Why, again, the secrecy and withholding of information? Taoiseach. Thanks. Um, thanks very much, uh, Deputy. Uh, before I reply, I just wanted to uh, recognise the Count Corla and your staff for organising uh, what I think was a really appropriate and um, really successful commemoration on Monday, and I just wanted to recognise that on my behalf and behalf of um, uh, the government and my party. I also want to join with um, um, would also like to join with Deputy Martin in expressing my condolences to the family and friends of Orla Church, uh, and I was filled with sorrow uh, over the weekend uh, when I heard uh, of her untimely passing. And I also want to pay tribute to her and thank her for the contribution that she made uh, to uh, helping um, the health service to update its guidelines for GPs and others in relation to cervical screening. Uh, and that contribution, I think, was very important uh, and will help uh, women into the future. And I want to recognise that uh, on the floor of the House today. Uh, I've always said, as I think others have said, uh, that we want some good to come out of this terrible tragedy, uh, this controversy um, around cervical check. I think some good has come out of it. We have the Scali report, uh, and that is um, being implemented. Uh, we put in a package of supports for the women uh, affected by the audit, including medical cards and um, experimental medicines uh, and, other, uh, and other supports. And we have taken the decision uh, to extend the HPV vaccine to boys this year 
uh, and to bring in a new, uh, more modern, becoming one of the first countries in Ireland in the world to do it, a new, more modern uh, smear test, uh, which is more accurate. Um, and uh, and that law that will be done done this year, and I think that's uh, um, important progress uh, that is being made. Uh, we all know that cervical screening works. Uh, it's helped to reduce um, the incidence uh, of cervical cancer in Ireland in recent years uh, and reduced uh, the number of deaths. Uh, and um, I, I'm pleased that, notwithstanding all the controversy around it, um, women are still attending uh, for smears, uh, and that program uh, is still working. Uh, and still, um, and still work, working well. Um, as the um, deputy says, uh, in, in May, the Minister for Health made a decision to offer free out-of-cycle smear tests to any woman who is concerned uh, about her health um, and about the accuracy of previous smear tests uh, in relation to the cervical check screening programme. Uh, that decision was made by the Minister in good faith uh, to answer the considerable fears and anxieties of many women in Ireland who were worried that their recent smear tests uh, may have been misread or may have been inaccurate. In the months since then, there has been a significant increase in the number of volume. In the months after that, there was a significant increase in the volume of women presenting for smear tests. Uh, that included not just women attending for the out-of-cycle tests, but an increased uptake in general uh, by, um, uh, by women of, uh, of smear testing. And that increased demand, those increased volumes, has put immense pressure on lab capacity and the HSC has been working actively with the labs to manage this and to improve turnaround times for smear tests. Uh, the HSC tells us that the laboratories have agreed to, take, to undertake additional recruitment, to provide overtime and to manage annual leave in an effort to minimise and reduce the backlog. In addition, the HSC is currently trying to source additional screening and laboratory capacity which would improve turnaround times for results. Uh, the HSC advises us that sourcing capacity and resources is a serious challenge um, as countries start to move from uh, primary HPV screening uh, to the new test, or, or move, rather move to primary HPV testing, there is uh, a shortage of capacity, uh, not just in Ireland, but also, also internationally. Thank but they you, are uh, undertaking uh, to provide that additional capacity and get on top of the backlog. And now that the uh, out-of-cycle uh, free smear tests have stopped, we expect it will be possible uh, to reduce that backlog over the next couple of weeks. Deputy Martin. <sighs> That's not true, Taoiseach, and you didn't answer my question. Were you made aware of the serious developments by the Minister, particularly in relation to the validity of a significant number of tests that have been rendered null and void because of the delay? Normally, the virus would be tested within 10 days. People are facing six-month delays. This was discovered last year, not revealed by the Minister or by anybody. In essence, that information has been withheld. That's why it discontinued Taoiseach. The Minister's decision was against expert advice that warned him repeatedly that this would damage the entire programme. It is my understanding and it is my information that the programme is in jeopardy because of all of this and further de significant decisions and communications will have to occur because of this. I asked you, were you made aware of this by the Minister? Would you please answer that question? I asked as to the rationale behind the Minister's decision against repeated expert advice and that this was not clinically warranted and that it would damage the efficacy of the entire you, Deputy. programme. Taoiseach, if we've learned any lessons about this, the withholding of information, the secrecy and denial that was part of the first phase of this scandal is being repeated yet again in terms of the, la the, the lack of upfront, honest responses to parliamentary questions and the ducking and the diving and the papering over the cracks and the covering, covering up that goes on then subsequently. So we're now all led to believe that it just evolved that the decision was closed down in December. It didn't just up, evolve. Please. There was a discovery made, Taoiseach, that tests were invalid because the expiry date ran out because of the backlog and the delay. That has consequences, Taoiseach. Uh, in terms of uh, many women involved, uh, and we need, I would ask you, Taoiseach, will you ensure that the Minister comes before this House and makes a comprehensive and transparent statement in relation to what I have uh, asked today? Taoiseach. The rationale behind the decision uh, by Minister Harris to offer a free out-of-cycle smear test um, back in May or June was 
uh, to respond back to the anxiety uh, by many women uh, that, that their smear test may have been misread, and it was done uh, in good faith, in good faith for good reasons. It was never intended to uh, be uh, a permanent uh, offering. It was only ever intended to last uh, for a few months. Uh, and those free tests ceased to be available uh, at the end of December this year. Um, I was made, a, made aware of a backlog a few weeks ago. Uh, Minister Harris informed me uh, a few weeks ago. I, I'll answer your question if you'll allow me to. Um, I was made aware by Minister Harris a few weeks ago that there was uh, a backlog and this was creating problems. And as a result of that, uh, some tests had expired and would have to be repeated. Um, and the Minister, uh, for that reason, uh, worked with, uh, the, is working with the HSC uh, to deal with that uh, and to make sure uh, that... Um, uh, that additional capacity is found uh, in order to catch up on, catch up um, catch up on, on the backlog. Um, no, but I'm, no, sure Deputy, minister, I'm, sure the, I'm sure the minister. I'm sure the minister will be happy uh, to come before the house uh, and make a statement on. Deputy Mary Lou Macdonald. I checked my, a couple of weeks ago. I don't remember the exact date. No, 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 no. Deputies, please. I don't want to mislead at all. I, I can't remember the exact date. Please. Deputy, the, the matter is inordinately serious, Deputy, but your time has elapsed. Deputy Mayor